Coach, it is clear, but it is cold here today as EA Sports takes us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Buffalo Bills. Now the leading rusher for the Pats last year is a rookie, Sony Michelle. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Now a man closing in on 15,000 career rush yards, Frank Gore. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second and nine, Allen. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Kyle Van Noy. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, Michelle, second and two. Play, Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Let's go, D. Watch safety creep, watch safety creep. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Let's go. Let's do this. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep. So maybe another run here? I think so. And one of my favorite coaches, you say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, give me my best power running play with my best back right now. On second and goal, Brady. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. From three yards out, as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Extra point up and good by Folk, and it's now a 7-0 game. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. As Buffalo comes back out here, Charles, I just want to give some love to the job that Sean McDermott has done. And, yeah, you got to give the players credit, too, but a double-digit win season. First season of at least 10 wins this year for Buffalo since 1999. And think about McDermott now. He's been to the playoffs two or three seasons since the year 2000 with seven previous coaches before McDermott, zero playoff appearances. And this is a proud franchise, a community that loves their team. And the players carry a lot of pride with them into the future because I've seen all over social media, 
former Bills. So excited to see how this team is playing, coming out of the woodwork to let the world know, hey, we're all about the Buffalo Bills. You're exactly right. What Sean McDermott has done there in a short amount of time, really, really impressive. And they're also a team that's built to scare the heck out of people in the playoffs. Excellent on defense, a quarterback who can throw it downfield in Josh Allen. And boy, when he breaks contain running it, wreaks havoc on defenses. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Kyle Van Noy able to drop him for a loss of two. And that will bring up fourth down. I think normally we would talk about this more with basketball players and football players, but let's adopt it in this case. He's a stat sheet stuffer. Had the interception earlier, now a sack, but he just needs a touchdown for the trifecta. That's about all he needs, and he's going to go for it. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Patriots take over football going back over to the New England Patriots who as we discussed earlier haven't had the smoothest of roads this year but you know we talked about it they're back in the playoffs for the 11th straight season and I mentioned that Tom Brady and people doubting him late and here we go again but I will say and if you disagree disagree this year feels a little different, doesn't it? I, I don't know that they have that same power. I want to disagree in a big way because we've seen this so many different times. Remember, 10th straight season with 11 or more wins, and there's always doubters. But I think you're actually on to something. This slump on offense that we saw, really starting with the Baltimore game. Remember, they were 8-0 up until Baltimore. Then they hit a stretch counting the Baltimore game where they went 3-3 three and three and really struggled to score. I think you're right about it. They've never looked more vulnerable. And at the same time, I can't believe I just said that because if there's anything the Patriots have done and proven to us over the years, doubt us if you want to, we usually end up in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I don't want to play both sides of the fence, but I'm going to. I still wouldn't be shocked if they won the Super Bowl whatsoever, but it does feel a little different this season. If they do win the Super Bowl, it will be done a different way. And then we'll be talking about how great they are one more time. But I do think that this is the year. If you want the Patriots, this is the year to go get them. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Eight yards first down as they're able to convert. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. 46, so first 48. and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45-yard line. 72. Now a play fake, Brady. And his throw is incomplete. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there, but it'll be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. To throw again, Brady. Caught by Sanu. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Mohamed Sanu is a guy that is often overlooked because he just quietly goes about his business. But how about last season? Had a career high 838 yards on 66 catches, and he could also play Wildcat quarterback for you as well. Brady now on first down. That's caught by the tight end, Lacoste. Give him a couple on the catch at second and eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Brady gives to Michelle. 
Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. From the gun, it's Brady. And able to find Dorsett. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Trying to pound it in here with Michelle. And they'll get this from the 8 to the 5. Pick up a 3. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Michelle going to try again. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. That's no gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up That's with something better here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Tom Brady with two first quarter touchdown passes. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. On for the extra point is Folk. And it's good to make it 14 0. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. This will be caught by Brown. 
And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and ten. So Brady and the Pats take over first and ten at their own 18. Brady going to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. Brady again here on second and ten. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Now they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. That was a nice catch, but unable to stay in bounds. And remember, it wasn't a wide receiver who works <laughs> on that all the time. I was going to say, he, he likes to get the ball handed to him. Now, don't get me wrong, he's part of the passing game as well, but maybe a little out of his comfort zone there. Yeah, he might want to have a few words to say to us about that later, but I am still going with you on that one. Wide receivers work out a little bit more. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense will probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Fourteen nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. On second down, Michelle. That he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. And now a shot into coverage downfield is complete. 30 yards there. And, of course, the first down as well. He had to figure they'd take a shot downfield on third and long, so the old cliche came into mind right away for me. Who wants it more? You always hear about receivers, you hear about their hands, their moves, their speed. How about the positioning and the desire to go get that one out of the air? They'll run on first down. Michelle, and brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, there's no shortage of great young runners in the NFL, but don't forget about that guy, Sony Michelle. First round pick in 2018, almost hit 1,000 yards as a rookie, 931 to be exact, to go along with six scores for the former Georgia Bulldog. First down, here's White. He'll get about six there as he takes this one down to the 24-yard line. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield success on first down huge difference as we know between second and four and second and eight and nine the last run got six now second and four throwing now is brady caught by the tight end watson and he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line that one a first down pickup of eight when an offense reads blitz doesn't matter where it's coming from 
tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first down, Michelle. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Tremaine Edmonds, the Bills' leading tackler as a rookie last year, in on the stop there. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's Wait, happening in front Alabama. of him, diagnose a play, and know, then go make it and finish it, know, know. that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Brady now going to leave it with Michelle on the draw. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Come on, fellas. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is Wait, called. Wait, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and yeah, dominating right now on this drive. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. That's sacked by Tremaine Edmonds. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Brady. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Tom Brady, his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 21 to zip. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This one taken from the seven. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. And now out come the Bills. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Another example right there how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they bring in your tight end, keep him in, your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. And that's complete to Croft. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. Bills are certainly happy to have a healthy Tyler Croft. Remember, he had a season-ending foot injury last year with the Bengals in Week 5, so the Bills get him, and he re-injures that same foot in May in OTAs, but out there now and says he's feeling pretty good. On first down, it's Gore. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Dante Hightower on the stop. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. 
The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. Right there, right there, right there. 54 money. And come on out here. Come get some. Come get some. Is that, is that? So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. The Bills on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. Allen. He may try and run for this. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. The Bills send the punter out as he's on to kick it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. On the ground, Michelle. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. That's it, baby. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On second down, they'll run with White. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. New England on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. Here it's third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Michelle. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. They'll run on first down. It's White, and he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Taron Johnson made the stop. Oh, yeah. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Let's go, D. Regular, regular. On second and nine, Brady. It's caught. This is White. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Wait, 20! Mike, 58, right there. 
quarterback. Don't get nervous now. 72. From midfield, here's Brady. This is White on the screen. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their yeah, timeouts. Yeah. So as they take it over, we step aside. The Patriots send out their punter. The all-pro Andre Roberts deep for Buffalo. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And this, you'd hate to say that a drive in the first half must end in points, but you're down 21-0. They're going to have to get something going fairly quickly. I would agree totally with that because... If you're going to mount the comeback, it's going to have to come in bits and pieces. It doesn't just all come at one time, right? We haven't seen anything more than a six-point touchdown ever in this game, right? So that's how it has to be done. Get points on the board now. Start your comeback. But you're exactly right. Let's get it going right here in this spot. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. The pass to Brown as he holes it in. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. This offense finding its legs now. Here's Here another go. first Here and ten. Here we go. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Oh, nearly a disaster there on the check down. But they'll get it back. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Now they'll try again on second down. And the grab by Croft. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Allen to throw once more. Short throw hauled in by Croft. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. So how would you describe that one, partner? Workmanlike right there, getting that first down, blue-collar type football? Yeah, only needed three, got four, just enough. Go, I like workmanlike. Go, I think it's pretty cool myself. Everything doesn't have to be high glamour in this game. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And his kick is absolutely perfect. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half.
Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out comes the go. New England offense to see what they can do this time. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four go, go, go. verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Out come the Bills now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that. I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Kyle Van Noy able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes still clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back, but it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Here's Allen to throw it. He's going deep for Brown. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. The Bills send the punter out as the drive goes backwards. So he's on to punt it away. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. They have the lead here. What well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches, what are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, we got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. On first down, Michelle. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run with White. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. That second down play nets a minus four. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. Let's bring it. Shotgun now for Brady. He's going to look deep down the field. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Well, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, 
No flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this score will stay right where it is. It's not too often you see a holder putting that football down right on the midfield stripe. 60 yards, Charles, but a little bit too much to bite off there. Yeah, it's good to show confidence in your kicker. That might have been just a little bit too much. Now, I guarantee you, as you just noted, putting it down on the midfield stripe, the holder's thinking to himself, that's a long way. Probably not as confident as well. Time to establish the run game. It's Gore. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. But well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. So don't say nothing. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And John Brown's got it complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 15 yards that time, and a Buffalo first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. From the gun, it's Allen. And that's complete to Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Allen now 11 of 16 through the air. It's first and 10. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Allen from the gun. He'll throw. And this one caught by Beasley. Give him nine on the play. And that'll make this a second down. To throw again on second down. Allen, and he's going to have the connection to Foster. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to lead to a third down. He's known for his hands defensively, but instead it just brings up fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit, forced the field goal.
Now after the made field goal, Hauschka back out onto the field to kick it away. This is taken at his four. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's Out go, comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. 18 big yards on that one. And a New England first down. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, tight end, selling the vertical oh, route. Get, get the break. defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner, and with good timing, you get a completion, as we just saw there. They'll run on first down. White, they'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. From just shy of midfield, Brady, and incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, and we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 37. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What did the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Now Brady, complete to Dorsett. A gain of six there on first. Yeah, baby! Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. So that'll back him up five. Following the delay, here's second and nine. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. So third down now. They need the 27-yard line for a first. Again, it's Brady. Trying for Edelman again. This time he's got it. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they were able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro.
Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Out. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Jamie Collins gets him for a loss of five. He is so tough to handle on the blitz, and that's exhibit A. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Allen going to throw. He finds his target, John Brown. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. You know I'm going to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around and make the play on the football. Allen now on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. That one was intended for John Brown. That'll bring up second down. CD, with that incompletion, let's talk AFC playoff picture. I think you and I agree that if you put together any sort of power rankings, we'd put Baltimore number one, certainly in the AFC. But you look ahead to the playoffs getting started on January 4th. Who do you see as their main competitor for that Lamar Hunt trophy? Well, tradition and us not wanting to be wrong dictates that we say New England next, and rightly so because of the number of Lombardi trophies they've won, how they've always played at this time of year. But the bottom line to me is the prime contenders right now for Baltimore, Kansas City, Patrick Mahomes has gotten together and the defense is playing better, and Buffalo really showed me something when they beat Pittsburgh in Pittsburgh on a Sunday night in Week 15. Throwing his Allen on third. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. The well, Bills send the punter out as he's on for the fifth time here today. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And he's going to get this Let's one across the 30-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme. When you have a blocker on a defender, and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole, and just go. Sometimes a thing of beauty. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Here's one. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
And he will finally be tracked down at the Bills' 29-yard line. Back now in Foxborough. We get set for the fourth quarter. Patriots have the lead. They also have the football. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On the ground, this is Michelle. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. On second and very short, Brady caught by Sanu. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football. And Michelle will find his way in for a Patriots touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Could not block that one any better. Everyone was accounted for, and a great surge by the offensive line. Second and goal from the one. And they will run it with Michelle. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on th Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Matt Lacoste. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Now Folk for the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bills offense now, they get set to head back on the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Here's Allen. They'll roll him out right. Allen hit. He lost the football. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. 
This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, y'all. Let's make these babies cry. Is that Is that now Allen to throw. Operating from the gun. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. Last Seven stop. yards, the pickup on the pitch stop. and catch. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers too. Uh, yeah, tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. Throwing again on second down. Allen, that is caught right at the 10-yard line. On, Let's go. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and Come fill on. it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Ah, nah, nah. Three down, three down. Ah, nah. And again, it's Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Lee Smith there to make the grab. And the Bills cut into that lead. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And that last drive, it was all about the ground game, ground and pound. And I don't care how we're playing the game these days. Offensive linemen still want to fire out and smack the guy opposite them and move the football on the ground. They feel better about that. That's what they want to do. That's how they want to play, and that's how they got it done. Yeah, they got it for a touchdown last drive. Let's see what happens here. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Now a pass here caught by Edelman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and New England has a first down. Now defensively, they just don't seem to have much of an answer for this passing game. Not at all. And look at the confidence that's exhibited here with that type of a lead. Clock on their side. Instead of running it, they're still throwing it, trying to pick up first downs and keeping the football. On first down, Michelle. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, Brandon, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now. And here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football. And that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. It's a loss of two. Now third down. 
Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it will help them at contract time. And to the 46, he goes and no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. On third and long, it's Allen. And an alley to run. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. The critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. To the air, Allen. Open man here is Foster. And out across on, midfield, boys, down jump. to the 45. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Now Allen, and he finds Beasley complete. And he's going to get this we inside this. the 30. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. And here's Allen to throw again. And the grab by Croft. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Allen now on third down, trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty, and he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Brady and the Patriots now, first and 10 at their own 27. They begin with Michelle on the ground. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. 
And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Again, it's Michelle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the ground is Michelle. Lorenzo Alexander brings him down. That's it. That's what you That's want. What Straight ahead, about. positive That's game. It. Just keep that clock ticking. The last He's run got three. three. Now here's second and seven. Here we go. He's crashing. He's checking crash. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 14 go. yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Two times, two times. Hey, 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 hey. Four down, four down, four down. Brady going to look to throw. Caught by the tight end, Watson. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Well, a clear running situation. Try to take time off the clock. You ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit them over the top. They'll run on first down. Michelle. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And to the surprise of exactly nobody that watched this game, it was the 40-something-year-old Tom Brady again that led the way. And do you get the sense that if we're fortunate enough to be around, you might be saying, and to the surprise of no one, it was the 50-something-year-old Tom Brady who led his team to victory. Uh, if, if he is still playing at 50, that's the greatest accomplishment in the history of sports. I believe that if he decided to still play into his 50s, he would still be effective in the league. That's how good he is. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.